People write on bathroom walls in Sam Bowles Denny's. I never wrote on bathroom walls. One time I did. I was a kid. I was drunk. I was at a party. I was 15 years old. I had too many beers. I'm in the bathroom all alone. I figured, hey. <laughs> no one can see me now. Pulled out a felt marker, wrote on the wall, Gale sucks good dick. Then <laughs> I realized I was in my own house. <laughs> Explain that one to mom and dad. <laughs> Especially when your sister's named Gail. <laughs> Today I walked to the park, this little boy and his father are in the park, and there's these two dogs in the corner, and they're fucking. And I remember I asked my dad, I said, Dad, what are they doing? He says, well, they're making a puppy, son. <laughs> Later that evening, I was walking down the hallway. I walked by my parents' room. I saw my dad on top of my mom. And I said, Dad, what are you doing? He says, we're making a baby. I said, turn her over. I want a puppy. <laughs> Take care of your waitresses. They got to remember a lot of drinks. It's not like a Western movie. Western movie, a guy goes in a bar. He's got two choices. He's drinking whiskey or he's drinking beer. I mean, you never heard John Wayne walk into a bar like, Whoa, can you make a pink squirrel? <laughs> a slippery nipple for everyone, Monsoor. <laughs> An orgasm for my buddies. <laughs> They're pretty horny, ha uh ha. -huh. I like Western movies. I wouldn't want to be born in the Western days, though. I mean, think about it. Doctors really weren't that hip. They didn't know what you had. They just diagnosed it as a cold. But, hey, Doc. I went out with Mary Lou last week. I got blisters all over my lips. <laughs> Looks like you got a cold. <laughs> hey, Doc, I went out with Mary Lou a month ago. Take a look at this little red puffed up son of a bitch. <laughs> Looks like you got a bad cold. <laughs> Get the hell out of my office, mister. <laughs> Once you touch that doorknob, I'm gonna get out of here. Every Western movie you've ever seen, a lady has a baby on the prairie. There's always that one cowboy takes charge. All right. Need some soap. Need some rags. Need some buckets of hot water. Is she going to have the baby here? <laughs> no, we're going to wash the truck and take her to town. <laughs> we're cowboys, butt fuck. What do you think? <laughs> I salute you women for having babies, because let's face it, if men had babies, there wouldn't be any. <laughs> That's right, girls. And guys have to have that thing once a month. That'd be a dragon, fellas. <laughs> Imagine carrying a tampon in your wallet. <laughs> Those other things wouldn't fit, would they? Either it's that time of the month, or he's one rich son of a bitch, I tell you. <laughs> If guys had babies, they'd have to call in sick for work, too. You know that, huh? Picture a guy calling up his boss. Hey, Bubba. <laughs> I ain't going to be able to haul that lumber today. I'm flowing. <laughs> I'm on the hot water bottle right now, Bubba. <laughs> Doris, would you just leave me alone? God damn it. Sunday is my favorite day of the week. 
Sunday's a day you get out of bed, boom, you go straight to the couch. It's like, brush my teeth, fuck it. Comb my hair, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna lay here all day and just scratch. Eat a bag of Cheetos for breakfast. Wash it down with a Budweiser. Find something to scratch. Walk around in your underwear like your dad scratching his ass. Where's the fucking TV guy? <laughs> Who's got the toenail clippers, honey? There's a toenail clipper hog in this house. Sometimes you wake up Sunday morning from Saturday night cocktail ninja hangovers. The kind you wake up, you got no two hairs in your head pointing the same direction. Your eyeballs have a heartbeat of their own. Your mouth tastes like you've been drinking hot dog water. You're laughing because you know what it tastes like. Got a dollar worth of quarters in your pocket <laughs> and you're thinking, I don't live here. <laughs> Can I get a shot of schnapps when you get a chance? I had a dream about you last night too. <laughs> you owe me for sheets. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Carpet, drapes, pillowcases. <laughs> Hear about the Polak girl that wanted to marry the Greek guy? The mom said, you don't want to marry no Greek guy. They're weird. <laughs> they want to turn you over and stuff. She said, Mom, I promise I'll never let them turn me over. She's okay. So she marries and they're about married about six months. Everything's going fine. He never asked her to turn over. Finally, one night in the middle of the night, he says, Honey, would you turn over for me? She said, Hell no. My mom told me, Never let you turn me over. He says, Well, don't you want to have kids? <laughs> You guys write me when you get that fucking joke, all right? <laughs> like the prison joke? <laughs> the prison joke? Guy goes to prison. Walks in the cell the first day, scared to death. He looks up at the guy in the bed above him. This guy's six foot eight, 290 pounds, and just growling. <laughs> This guy's scared to death. He's a little count. He's laying there in the bed and he's just scared to death. About three o'clock in the morning, he wakes up. This guy's shaking the whole bed. He says, wake up, motherfucker. We're going to play house. He says, what do you want to be, the man or the wife? He says, I want to be the man. He said, get down here and suck your wife's dick. <laughs> uh, great city. I went to the zoo last time. I was, last time at the zoo, a funny thing happened. I was at the zoo. This guy was walking around. Looked a little confused, walked up to this man. He was just picking up stuff. He worked there, obviously. Walked up to this guy. Excuse me, sir, do you don't happen to know what time it is? The guy says, yeah. And he sticks his hand in the elephant's cage, grabs the elephant by his ball, starts bouncing up, up and down like that. He says, it's a quarter to two. He says, that's a miracle. How in the hell can you tell something like that by bouncing elephant's balls? He says, there's a clock right over there. Isn't it? <laughs> But I went to the zoo. I don't know about you folks. I think these animals come to a zoo in America. They've been here a couple years. They pretty much lose that killer instinct, don't they? Huh? Went there and this polar bear got a look on his face like, hey, beats Alaska. Eat a marshmallow, wave to a kid. 
call it a day. <laughs> you got the penguins, they're depressed. They're like all dressed up, nowhere to go. <laughs> I don't know about you folks, I think we ought to put some pampers on those baboons, huh? <laughs> These guys been lifting some heavy objects or something. <laughs> Get a doctor in there with a wheelbarrow of Vaseline or something, huh? Maybe we talk Bob Dylan and do a benefit concert. <laughs> they got big ass hoes! They got big ass hoes! You got to have an ass hoes! <laughs> Whoever told fucking Bob Dylan he could sing anyway, that's what I want. What does Bob Dylan sound like at home? Billy, you got to flush the toilet. <laughs> Honey, pass the fucking potatoes, please. Last week, I went out and bought myself a camouflage shirt, put it in the closet, and I can't find that fucker nowhere. <laughs> But I like to gamble, boys and girls. When I gamble, I want to gamble on something you have a chance of winning. Now, have you seen this commercial where the girls come out and compare their hands for cash? These are my hands. These are my mom's. She's 30 years older, and I'll bet you can't tell. <laughs> if we're going to bet, let's take a look at those thighs, huh? <laughs> I mean, pop those tits out. I'll tell you who's who. <laughs> I'll go, you double or nothing on those jokers. I saw my grandmother's once. Whoa, ho, ho! They weren't no bargain. <clears throat> but don't laugh, guys. You get older, things start moving around on you, too. You're not special. <laughs> That's right, guys. You're a 20-year-old man sitting on a toilet. Sometimes the head of your pecker just dangling the water a little bit. You get over 40, your balls are dangling in the water. <laughs> You don't believe me, you ask this man right here, he'll tell you. <laughs> He's a two-tile man. <laughs> so I think you get older, you get a little lazy, and you stand up after you flush the toilet, and that's the whole problem, you know? That suction action just gets them balls and... <laughs> it's like, honey, get me out of here! You got three guys in the sewer going, help them, bitch, help them! <laughs> Oh, I live in Los Angeles. Anybody here from Los Angeles? No. <laughs> I'm from Cuba. Anybody from Cuba? No. LA's a nice place to live if you're a muffler. It's a lot different here. Here you turn on the radio, you get news, weather, sports. LA, you turn on the radio, you get news, weather, sports, thing they call the surf report. If you're in Los Angeles, you hear this on the radio. It's delivered by these surfer kids with an IQ level about a grade lower than bean dip. <laughs> These kids are like, this is Scott in Santa Monica. <laughs> Party! <laughs> the waves are three to four feet and they're really radical. <laughs> so come on down and catch some rays. How are things in Newport? This is Gookie in Newport. <laughs> Party! <laughs> The waves are three to four feet, and they're almost primo bitchin'. <laughs> so come on down and catch some rays. How are things in San Francisco? <laughs> this is Charles from San Francisco. <laughs> oh, the waves are so gnarly. <laughs> when it gets this rough, my nipples get real sore. <laughs> and my balls get real swollen. It just... Oh, scares me. <laughs> so why don't you just come on down and catch some rays? Or some Bills or some Rogers? <laughs> My dad thinks I do that too good, you know. <laughs> he says, what are you, a turd burglar? You going rump ranger on me, boy? <laughs> Ain't having no tonsil jockey dick smoker living in this house. <laughs> so 
surfers have their own vocabulary. I don't think the dictionary can understand surfers. The other day I looked up the word primo, it said see bitchin'. <laughs> they always play guitars, they haven't got guitars. They call this air guitar. I saw it at the mall, I said, what do you do this for? He says, cause I love rock and roll, dude. <laughs> I said, I love Bo Derek. <laughs> I don't walk around humping like, hey, hey, hey baby, hey baby. It's called air fucking, I guess. I don't know. What are you in here for, kid? Air fucking. <laughs> you never see black guys surfing. Black guys surf. I'd like to hear a surfing boy from Oakland or someplace. <laughs> uh, hey, baby, this is Tyrone. <laughs> The waves out here about nine, ten feet. These waves will kick your ass. I was out there yesterday like one of these old bleached out white dudes. <laughs> Fell off my board and lost my radio. Damn. <laughs> so there's this guy in Texas. Meets this girl at a bar, and they're getting liquored up, and they decide to make an evening of it. So she says, let's go back to your place. He says, yeah. They walk out to his car. He's got a big old El Dorado. She says, you sure got a big car. He said, everything's big in Texas. <laughs> they go back to his house, big old Ponderosa. She says, you sure got a big house. Said everything's big in Texas. <laughs> they go in his room, he's got a big old bed. She sure, sure got a big bed. <laughs> Said everything's big in Texas. So they jump in bed and they start making love and they're all done. He rolls over, lights up a cigarette and says, So tell me, what part of Texas are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Two guys in a park, this little dog is sitting there licking his balls, and one guy says, Boy, I wish I could do that. <laughs> he says, Don't you think you ought to pet him first? <laughs> guy walks into a restaurant having a bowl of soup. All of a sudden, he stands up from the table. He says, There's a goddamn hair in my soup. The owner of the restaurant comes over, he says, let me get you another bowl of soup. Sir, he says, I don't want a bowl of soup. I don't want a cheeseburger. I don't want a steak sandwich. I'll tell you another damn thing. I'm not going to pay for this fucking soup. <laughs> so a guy puts on his jacket, walks out of this restaurant, right out across the street to this bordello across the street. Well, the manager, he's pissed off. He throws his apron on the floor, chases this guy across the street, walks in and says, which room did he go in? She said, room seven. Manager of the restaurant walks up to room seven, kicks on the door. There's this guy laying on the bed, buried to the shoulders. <laughs> he says, you son of a bitch! You wouldn't pay for that soup because of one lousy hair, and now look at you! <laughs> that guy gets out of the bed, he says, I'll tell you another damn thing. <laughs> if I find a noodle in here, I'm not going to pay for it either. <laughs> There was this man and this woman, they were upstairs, they were getting it on. All of a sudden the door opens downstairs, she said, it's my husband, he'll kill you. <laughs> this guy grabs his clothes, jumps in the closet. Sitting there in the dark, man runs up the steps, all of a sudden he hears a little boy's voice, sure is dark in here. I go, shut up kid, shut up. <laughs> So you give me $50, mister, or I'm going to scream. My dad's going to kill you. So the guy gives him $50. He says, shut up, fucking kid. <laughs> so the old man does what he's got to do. He leaves. The guy puts on his clothes. He splits. A couple days later, the kid's sitting around feeling pretty guilty and goes to church, walks in the confessional booth, closes the door, sits down. He goes, phew, sure is dark in here. <laughs> priest says, don't start that shit again, fucker. <laughs> I 
Oh, I saw a guy today downtown with a t-shirt on says, I'm with stupid. The guy was alone. I saw another guy with a tattoo of a rat on his face. I'm thinking, I wonder if this guy ever regrets that move. Someday he's gonna be a grandfather. A picture of Bobby Billy at Tiny Visit Grandpa. Oh shit. You gotta go visit that weird rat face man again. Come on, Billy, touch the rat. I don't wanna touch the rat. I don't wanna touch the rat. I don't wanna touch that fucking rat. Remember that voice as a kid, you could turn it on and off whenever you wanted to get you out of jams, like, I don't want to finish my dinner, I don't want to finish my dinner. <laughs> all right, go to bed, goddammit, shut up. All right! Don't you wish you could use that voice when you got older? You know, like, I, I don't want to pay the phone bill, I don't want to pay the phone bill. <laughs> I don't want to pay it. <laughs> all right, pay it next month, goddammit, shut up. All right! You lose a bunch of money on Sunday to your bookie. <laughs> he goes see him Monday. He says, listen, I don't want to pay you, man. I don't want to pay you. <laughs> I got an aunt that weighs 265 pounds. <laughs> she went to a fat farm. They gave her a blue ribbon. <laughs> she got on the scale and said, one at a time, please. One at a time. She went to the gynecologist, he died of the bends. <laughs> sort of a guy kind of joke, huh? What do you think? <laughs> Christmas Day, she ate dinner for six hours. She got up and says, I think I'm going to walk this meal off. <laughs> said, call me when you get to Colorado, would you? <laughs> yeah. But see, I got no room to talk. I got myself a big gut. I just tell the girls this is all foreskin. <laughs> I get a hard on and look like Barney Fife. <laughs> this is a thin conscious world. I don't think it's fair. I think overweight people are just as beautiful as thin people though, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> think you know the cheeseburger in that sweater, partner? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm jogging. I see these two guys jog by me, slim, trim. They look great. I hate their guts. Let's keep the rhythm. They're going like this. And I'm drinking Diet Pepsi, and it shows. You know, yank, yank. I think it's about time overweight people had a theme song, too. What they can sing while they're shopping. In between the aisles, just feeling good about myself. Candy section, I cleared the shelf. <laughs> Ate a pizza, drank a milkshake, and it showed. <laughs> You're a good crowd. Yeah. Guy walks into a bordello. He says, I want to buy me some pussy. She says, no problem. He says, yes, we do have a problem. Unzips his pants, throws his dick on a table, it goes, boom! She said, god damn. That is a dick. That must be 26 inches long. He said, 27. She says, I don't think we can find a woman in this place that can fuck that. Might find one that can suck it. I said, hell, if I wanted sucked, I'd have sucked it myself. Dirty jokes are fun. <laughs> Hear about the young couple on their honeymoon. Just got married. He says, honey, it's our honeymoon. How about a little blowjob action? <laughs> she said, hell no. It's our honeymoon. It's a special night. I don't want you to lose respect. He said, okay. 20 years go by. They come back to the same hotel room, same bed. He says, honey. I bought a little blowjob action. 
She says, no, it's been 20 years. It's sort of a special night. I've never had to do that before, and I don't want you to lose respect. He says, okay. <laughs> On her 50th anniversary, they go to the same hotel, same room, same bed. He goes, honey. <laughs> It's been 50 years! How about a little knob job, goddammit? <laughs> she says, this is our anniversary. It's a special night. He says, it's the last thing I'll ever ask you, please. She says, okay. She gives him a blowjob out of this fucking world. <laughs> He's got to pull the sheets out of his asshole. <laughs> She's just sitting there slurping. <laughs> she says, I hope you didn't lose respect. He says, no. <laughs> and phone rings, he picks it up, he says, hello. <laughs> it's for you, cocksucker. <laughs> This other couple was on their honeymoon. And it was reverse. They're on their honeymoon, kissing, squeezing, teasing, driving each other crazy. All of a sudden, she says, Honey, why don't you get me a little kiss betwixt my legs? He said, Hell no. I heard about them things. Them things got teeth, and I'm not going to get my nose bit off. She said, mine ain't got no teeth. Go take a look, see. He said, okay. He jumped down there and gave it a good eyeball inspection. Jumped out of the bed, said, God, dog. Shapes them gums are in. No wonder you ain't got no fucking teeth. You're a nasty bunch of fuckers, aren't you? Did you hear about the whore that walked into the bar with a parrot on her shoulder? She said, I'll fucking suck anybody who can guess the weight of this parrot. This one drunk says, 500 pounds. She said, close enough. So one guy goes to the doctor, he didn't think his pecker was big enough. The doctor said, we found a new invention. What it is, we put a little elephant foreskin on there. And it'll grow and make it as big as you want it to be. So he says, all right. <laughs> so he sews some elephant foreskin on the end of this guy's dick. About three weeks later, it's about two feet long. He's having dinner with this beautiful young lady. Sitting at the restaurant, all of a sudden his zipper comes down. His dick comes out and grabs a piece of bread and goes, <laughs> She said, God damn. <laughs> they have a little bit more conversation. All of a sudden, this zipper comes back down. His dick comes out, grabs another piece of bread, boom, <laughs> She said, I can't believe that. She said, you think you could do that again? He said, probably, but I don't think I could take another roll up the ass. There's this guy, he met this girl in the bar. Things are going just fine. They decided to go back to her place. Well, they had a few drinks. They walked up to her room. He took off his clothes like he had a fucking ripcord. Foo! <laughs> Jumped in the bed with a heart on a dog, couldn't you? 
They said, over here, honey. Come on. She said, just a minute, let me get ready. She took off her wig, she threw it on the dresser, took off her high heels, threw them on the dresser, took off her eyelashes, threw them on the dresser, took off her falsies, threw them on the dresser, took off her padded ass, threw it on the dresser, took out her teeth, threw them on the dresser. She said, I'm ready. He said, fuck you, I'm screwing the dresser. <laughs> Uh, I did a sit-up today. <laughs> I'm real sore and shit, you know? I called my doctor. He said, you didn't try and do one the first day, did you? Construction workers here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> one guy. <laughs> Three guys are building a big 20-story building, hanging from the top of this building, and they're just taking a piss off the side. One guy says, you know, it looks like my dick's hanging down about the 16th floor, buddies. <sighs> Next guy says, it looks like mine's about hanging down to the 10th floor. This third guy, he just bounced up and down on his beam like this. He said, what are you doing? He said, dodging fucking traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Lady goes to her gynecologist, sitting there in the stirrups, the guy giving her examination, says, you know, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> I don't want to say anything wrong. I don't want to say anything wrong. She says, you didn't have to say it twice. She says, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> he said, but you've got the biggest I've ever seen in my life, lady. Well, she was a little upset and astounded. She went home and she got in front of the mirror and she was looking, trying to see how big that hole was and she just couldn't see. She took the mirror off the thing, threw it on the floor and she's got it straddled like this. She's looking. Her husband comes in and says, honey, what are you doing? She says, I'm just doing some exercises. He says, well, be careful you don't fall in that fucking hole. <laughs> Girl sitting in a movie, turns to her boyfriend, says, the guy next to me is jacking off. She says, well, just ignore him, just ignore him. He's using my hand. <laughs> this guy goes to the pharmacy. He says, I want to buy some aphrodisiacs. He says, aphrodisiacs? He says, yeah, I got me some nymphomaniac coming over tonight, and I want to be ready. <laughs> so he goes home, takes these aphrodisiacs. Next day, he comes back in his pharmacy, lost about 60 pounds. <laughs> Hair was falling out of his head, and he was just sitting there shaking. <laughs> Pulled his dick out, threw it on the table, looked like a piece of hamburger meat. <laughs> he said, give me some Bengay. <laughs> He said, you're not going to put Ben Gay on that, are you? <laughs> he said, hell no, it's from my arms. That bitch never showed up. <laughs> this guy walks into a bank. Guy walks into the bank. He walks up to the lady behind the counter. He says, bitch, I want to open up a fucking bank account. He said, I'm sorry, sir, we just can't have language like He said, bitch, shut up! I want to open up a fucking bank account, and I want to open it up now. She says, I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to get the manager over here right now. So she goes, gets the manager, and the manager comes over. He says, what's the problem, sir? He says, I just won the lottery, won $5 million, and I want to open up a bank account, and she won't help me. The manager turns to the bank teller and says, what's the matter, bitch? Can't you see his problem? How you doing, buddy? You're in the bathroom? Hey, you know. Hey, you know? <laughs> you remind me of my brother. <laughs> He's an asshole. Yeah. Uh, my brother and I, my brother and I lived together for two years in college. He used to, he, I used to eat all the food in the refrigerator. He'd get pissed off. 
So one day he came in, bought a bunch of groceries, walked in the living room with a gallon of milk, undid a zipper, put his dick in the milk, said, the milk's mine, fucker! <laughs> you can count on that, Poncho. <laughs> Those post toasties are looking pretty safe too, I'll tell you. I, uh... 